In part one, chapter one of A Clockwork Orange, Alex meets his droogs at the Corova Milk Bar, a favorite hangout for his gang, which consists of Alex himself, Pete, Georgie, and Dib. They plan their evening, and there they can order milk spiked either with hallucinogens that send you to another world, or with stimulants that sharpen you up for violence. The boys have plenty of cash and don't need to rob anyone, but money isn't everything. When they see three sexually available girls at the counter, Alex considers buying Dim a drink with a sedative mm. so that he, Pete, and Georgie can leave with the girls, but decides against this disloyal mm -mm. behavior. Nearby, a man babbles as he hallucinates. Alex comments that mind-altering drugs are very cowardly because they sap one's strength for action. You were not put on this earth just to get in touch with God, Alex says. Out looking for dirty fun, the boys encounter a prof type carrying science books. Greeting him with false politeness, they destroy the books, which they decry as containing filth and nastiness. They pull out the old man's dentures and stomp on them, hitting his mouth until he bleeds real beautiful. They then head to the Duke of New York, another of their favorite bars, to establish alibis, buying drinks for old women at the bar. They leave broke, an excuse to don masks and rob a drugstore. Yeah. The manager, Slouse, heads for the phone and his gun, but Dim attacks him while Alex grabs his screaming wife. He considers raping her, but that was for later on in the evening. They steal cash and cigarettes and return to the bar to make sure the old women will vouch for their presence. When the police show up, Alex feigns innocence. Sure enough, the old women praise the boy's kindness and generosity. The novel's first chapter plunges readers into a disorienting, disturbing world. In some modern city of the not-too-distant future, dandified teens attend school by day, but roam the city by night, perpetrating nearly unchecked violence. And the adults seem to avoid the teens or curry their favor by covering for them. Nadsat, the dialect Alex and his gang of droogs speak, is a language that bonds them as a group apart from and opposed to the adult world of work and responsibility. Alex asks, what's it going to be then, eh? Violence is Alex's answer, at least at the novel's beginning. He's a highly problematic narrator, an arrogant, vicious criminal, but he's also a dynamic and engaging storyteller. 